view. This is a fun one. There's a number of funny ways you can do this one that I'll go over just as I'm talking about it. For now, I'm just bringing the water pistol, the grabby hand, and just kind of the standard loadout. For camo, I'm just using a rocky camo. This is a uh, one that you get from online uh, FOB events, and it just costs nothing. But Tiger Stripe is also a rocky camo, and it only costs 200, so it's not really a budget issue. I could easily use Tiger Stripe. I just was using this one for variety. As far as I know, the Rocky camos are equally effective, and they're all effective in like 90% of Afghanistan. It's less sand and more rock, so it's useful in more areas. And we are using camo uh, because it's daytime, and enemy sight is far more important than sound. There's lots of ways to mitigate our sound, but being seen in the daytime is quite a bummer, and anything that reduces that is helpful. So I'm not speeding up the ride to the communications post because I wanted to talk a little bit about this mission. This is an interesting mission. You have to destroy either the radio console in the uh, eastern communications post or the three uh, radio dishes that are on top of the various buildings in there. Either one of those will complete the mission. You don't have to do both, but you do have to destroy all three dishes if you just choose to destroy those. You can leave the dishes intact, though, if you just destroy the radio. Uh, this mission is interesting because it's one of the few missions that people thought you weren't able to get the No Traces bonus on because you were required to use some kind of attack on the radio console. But uh, somebody else discovered that you can use the Blast Arm and do the Charging Punch that for some reason does not count as violating No Traces. And because it's the Blast Arm, it does explosive damage, and that allows it to destroy the console. So this one you can actually do no traces on, but the subsistence version of this one, which forces you to use the stock bionic arm, you cannot get no traces on. It's one of only two missions in the entire game that you can't get the no traces bonus on, as far as I know. The other one being a quiet exit, because quiet will call in supply drops, and those do count against no traces, and you can't stop her from doing it. So that one is also impossible, as far as I know, uh, unless there's some way to prevent Quiet from ever going for supplies, which, as far as I know, you can't. So, I could have gone up on the cliff, but because it's daytime infiltration, the cliff is actually a really bad place to come in from, uh, in no small part because enemies have pretty good vision up and down, and they would have pretty much seen me if I tried to get down from there, or if I tried to, like, uh, shoot the dishes from there. So instead, we're just going to go around the side here and climb into the village, the guys who were wandering, they didn't catch enough of a glimpse of me to really do anything more than go where uh, they thought I was, so they won't be any any issue. They won't raise any alarm either. It wasn't a close enough glance of me. Now this guy, I wasn't sure which way he was going, but as it turns out, he's going to come towards me, which is perfect. I can just lie down, and between uh, my camo and being prone and in grass, he just can't see me at all, even if he were looking. So I can just do a hold up on him. If that hadn't worked, I could just seek you see him. He's not close enough to everybody for it to matter. So that pretty much clears me for the radio. I'll just roll past that. There's very little chance that they would have seen me anyway because I'm crawling, but just in case. The other issue would be those guys walking by up top. I just want to make sure that they don't see me climb through the window, but they shouldn't. So, just shoot the console once with the water pistol, and one of the unique properties of the water pistol is that it will disable electronic stuff, uh, and because it's non-explosive and it doesn't make a lot of noise, uh, even though the console itself has kind of an exploding sound, uh, it won't attract any attention, because CP has to actually call in for this one, and CP does not call in for radios being destroyed. Now, guards will call in if they see an installation being damaged, but they won't call in if they find the dishes just destroyed. I think because the dishes can come pre-destroyed, so they don't want to uh, have the guys like see a dish that you destroyed in free roam an hour ago and then go into a panic about it. So it's a very stealthy way to destroy the equipment. No one knows that I broke it, and there's only two guys unconscious anyway. And, as you can see, the hot zone is a lot smaller once you actually complete an objective, so we're able to get out of there by not going quite as far as we had to come in. Makes it very easy.